Oh no, here comes Billy. Who's gonna tell him? Don't look at me! Ah, oh, fine. Fellas, I wanna introduce you to Jackson Carpenter. He's gonna be with us for the rest of the week. Nice to meet you guys. Please let me know how I can be of assistance. All right, enough pleasantries. Let's get to work. Hey, boss. Yeah? Wait, why are you making that face? What face? That face, like like you got indigestion. I, I am not making a face. Well, the last time you made that face, you told me that you accidentally ruptured the sewer line at the water park. It's not that bad, if that helps. Spill it. <sighs> the tremor last night took down about a thousand feet of our fence on the west side of the property. Ugh. Why can't anything be easy? Are you all right, Billy? You look like you're about to blow a gasket. I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine. So, what's the plan? The plan? You wanna know what the plan is? The plan is for you all to bust your butts harder than your lazy butts have ever been busted. I'm talking working weekends, 12 hour days, shortened lunch breaks, cause I'm tired of my crew constantly putting more on my plate. Now get to work. Unbelievable. Every freaking day is something. Okay, Billy, breathe. What? It might not be my place to say this. Then don't. But I have seen this before. You've had a freak tech-inspired earthquake destroy 15% of your site? <laughs> no, but I've seen teams I've managed in the past that get burnt out. And I've only been here for a few minutes, but I think that's what you're dealing with here. Oh, you do? Should I run down to the market and get some coconut oil and give them all a foot massage? Look, it's not my place to tell you how to manage your crew. Great, then we'll leave it there. But I'm gonna go down to the hardware store and pick up materials for the reconstruction of the lost fencing. And while I'm at it, I'd love to see you start working. You know, since that's why I brought you here. <sighs> all right. I'll get to it. Fantastic. You're listening to Unhinged. Presented by My Salesman, a Structured to Grow production. Starring Riley Donahue, with special appearances by Matt Warner and Joe Everest. Tired of trying to nail down solid leads? We'll put the hammer aside because My Salesman's top of the line software offers the power to pre qualify your customers. So you'll be jumping over fences, not running into them. Plus, with our intuitive drawing tool, your clients can design their dream fence while you sit back. Don't fence yourself in with tire kickers and time wasters. Head on over to MySalesman.com and sign up for a free 30 day trial. With My Salesman, you're not just building fences, you're building your business. It's time for Matt the Miracle. Matt the Miracle. Hello, my faithful Miracleites. If you have any questions today, please, please don't be afraid to call in. Sure. Why not? I'd love to make this someone else's problem to solve. Hi, my name's Billy. Hey, Billy. What's shaking, baby? I want to know how you would go about motivating employees, specifically lazy employees. Oh, oh, Billy. Billy, 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 Billy. I've got to tell you, I don't know if I've really had any lazy employees. We've been in business for like 20 years. Can't say I've had a one. <laughs> well, aren't you lucky? Oh, not exactly. 
Exactly. I really don't believe in lazy employees. I believe in lazy leaders. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's that's not what's going on here. Hey, listen, Billy. I'm not saying you're not a hard worker. I'm not even saying that you don't work your tail off. You don't get up and you grind it every single day. But leadership is way more than working hard. The goal of a leader really isn't to lead, it's to serve, to be a servant leader, uh, so to speak. Billy, I'm sure that you love your people and I'm sure you care about them. But have you given them the opportunities to make decisions and to empower them and to believe in them and just every once in a while, just give them a high five. Uh, That sounds more like a friend than a boss. Holy cow, Billy. You just made a breakthrough. You might just be one of the easiest students I've ever had. Woo! Wait, that that's not the advice I was looking for. Uh, probably not, Billy. But sometimes you need to hear what you don't want to hear. You need to maybe look in the mirror and recognize where you're at. Billy? Billy, you didn't fall asleep on me, did you? Uh, no, still here. Look, Billy, I suggest you go to your team and give them a little grace. Love on them. And that doesn't mean you have to be soft or even a pushover. Great leadership can have constructive criticism, but it cannot have resentment. Put that in your pocket, Billy, and think about that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I will. Hey, Billy. Smile. Look around and count the blessings. And by golly, have a fantastic day. Call Fence Nemesis. Calling. Fence Nemesis. Hey, Billy. How's it going? Hey. Sorry about the tantrum earlier. Happens to the best of us. In fact, my two-year-old threw a similar fit last night when we wouldn't let her... Not helping. Right. Uh, Can you just do me a favor and, and tell the guys I'd like to treat them to a nice dinner tonight for all their hard work? Yeah, will do. Great. All right, gotta go. Uh, I'm pulling up the softies now. Softy? Yeah? Uh, everything okay? Uh, I just watched one of them videos where the person finds a shaggy pup on the street and cleans it up all night and gives it a home and... Oh, it's just really something beautiful, you know? So those are happy tears. That's right. Glad to hear it. Billy? Oh, hey, Ben. Did you get your sewing machine that I dropped off at your porch? Yes, I did. Thank you. I owe you big time. (laughs) Don't worry about it. What are you here for? Oh, getting copies for a handful of house keys. A handful? How many homes do you own? Just one. But my real estate business, keeping it realty, is starting to find its footing. A realtor, too. You know, I might have a favor to call in after all. Anything at all. Could you find out who owned the recently sold 500 acres of land to Scarecrow Tech? Of course. I'll look into it. I'd appreciate it. Hey, what room of a house are zombies dying to get into? I don't know. Which? The living room! <laughs> That's funny. Usually people laugh when something is funny. Hey, I gotta get out to the job site. I'll see you later. Afternoon, Corvus. Hi, I'm Raven. I'm filling in for Corvus while he is on vacation. Please look directly into the camera, and please do not smile. Wait, Corvus is on vacation? That's right. But he's a... He's a computer. All skills.
Scarecrow Tech employees receive 20 days paid vacation a year. Artificially intelligent employees included. So where did he go? He is currently on a server in Cancun, soaking up the sun. Now please look into the camera and please do not smile. Good afternoon, Billy D. Gates, 5'11", 185 pounds. Most embarrassing memory is wetting his pants during his fifth grade talent show performance of These Boots Are Made For Walking. I've never told anyone that. Have a beautiful day. Unbelievable. All right, guys, on three. One, two, three. Nice. Well done. Wow, you, you guys have finished eight posts since I was gone? Sure have. Hey, the guys are pumped about dinner. I'm going to get a filet. Well, we're, we're going to Cherry's Diner, so you'd be lucky if they got Salisbury. But anything on the menu is yours. Uh, hey, Jackson. Yeah? Um, up top. Up top? Yeah, uh, up top. I want to wanna give you some skin. Give me some skin? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you a high five for all your good work, okay? Oh, sure. Yeah. Huh. That was kind of awkward. It sure was. My bad. I'm, I'm a little rusty, but I'll get better at it. Well, let's, uh, let's get back at it. <sighs> All right, six Salisbury steaks, two ranzas, a sloppy joe, three side salads, four macaronis, 12 bush lights, one red beer. And nine green jellos. And nine green jellos. That'll be $213. Worth every penny. What did you think of the runza? It was, uh, surprisingly juicy. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh, and speaking of juicy, I finally found something big on one of Lucky's tapes. Oh, yeah? I'll let you hear it for yourself. Today I learned that almond milk isn't milk from cows that were strictly fed almonds. Hold on. I've been called into Mayor Barbara Wire's office. You're about to hear a secretive recording. Hi, Mayor. How are you on this beautiful day? Don't sit. You can stand. This will be quick. Alrighty. Lucky, I hope you're having a grand old time with this chintzy little campaign of yours. But I suggest you take a step back and let the adults play government. <laughs> Look, I understand we're in a battle for the mayoral throne and things can naturally get a little contentious. But I am truly passionate about... Stop! Please. Stop t talking? Yes. It hurts my brain. In fact, you should consider walking around with a bottle of aspirin for all of the poor souls to whom you give migraines. Hey, now that is out of line. <laughs> you haven't seen out of line yet, Lucky. And trust me, you don't want to. Because there is nothing I won't do to make sure I win this re-election. You got it? Nothing. Whoa. Right? I have a few more tapes to go, but this alone feels like the clue we've been looking for. Yeah, no kidding. I better call my wife and fill her in. Call Waverly. Calling. Waverly. Hey, honey. You're never going to believe it. We have an audio recording of the mayor threatening Lucky. Like, like sinister sounding stuff. Oh, fun. 
This reminds me of my book club's favorite series from last year, Capital Murder in the Capitol Building. I know, I was skeptical about it all at first, but, but it definitely feels like there's, there's something shady going on in this town. Holy sh- What was that? Someone just threw a brick through my window. A brick? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. It, it, oh, they scribbled stop invest on it. What, who's using a brick to share financial advice? <sighs> Flip it over. Why? Just do it. Oh. Does it say negating on the other side? It, it does. Stop, stop in investigating. What would you do without me? Wait, am I being threatened? Cool. Yeah! That means you're actually on to the scent of the person responsible for all of this. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm 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 just finally realizing what a weirdo I married. <laughs> You're listening to Unhinged, presented by My Salesman, a Structured to Grow production. Are you tired of chasing leads to Noare? I mean, nowhere. With My Salesman software, pre-qualifying your leads is as breezy as a summer's day in Noare. Offer potential customers instant budgets, letting them sketch their dream fence while you sit back and relax, knowing they're serious buyers. Don't venture into the middle of nowhere without a plan. Navigate to MySalesman.com to unveil the potential of hassle-free lead management. Try our software free for 30 days and start your journey to a destination known as success. Thanks for listening to Unhinged Season 1, Lost Picket. Executive produced and directed by Bradley Williams. Written by the Structure to Grow team. Starring Riley Donahue as Billy Gates, with Whitney Holland as Waverly Gates, Tiffany Perdue as Cherry Pickett, Brandon Hunt as Sheriff Cedar, Laura Welsh as Lattice Redwood, Matt Warner as Matt the Miracle, Joe Everest as Jackson Carpenter, Alex Bowie as Ben Post, Sean Madsen as Lucky Pickett, with special appearances by Rachel Kroos, Kelsey Pavel, and Alex Ross. Produced by Ryan Cash. Sound design and mixing by Matthew Meadows. Original music by Sean Leonhardt. Design supervisor, Anna Cousins. Character designs by Brangie Javier. With a special thanks to the entire team at My Salesman.